start with the seventh grade. First, we have Manohar Gupta from seventh grade. My dear 
friends and the teachers. My name is Jyoti Nandri and I am from class 7A. And today I am going to recite a poem. The name of the poem is Cherry Tree, written by Ruskin Khan. Eight years have passed since I placed my cherry seed in the grass. Must have a tree of my own, I said, and watered it once and went to bed. I forgot, but cherries have a way of growing. Though no one's caring very much or knowing, suddenly that summer near the end of May, I found that a tree had come to stay. It was very small, a five months child, lost in the tall grass, running wild. Both ate the leaves, and the monsoon blight shriveled the slender stem. Even so, next spring I was three new shoots grow. The young tree struggled and upwards thrust its arms to the fresh, fierce lust. For light and air and sun. I could only wait as one who watched, wondering why time and the rain made a miracle from green growing pain. I went away next year, spent a season in Kashmir, came back thither, rather poor, but richer by a cherry tree at my door. Six feet high, my own dark cherry. And I could scarcely believe it a berry, ripened and jeweled in the sun, hung from a branch, just one. I lay on the grass with the leaves and looked up at the leaves and the blue, blind sky and the flitches as they flew by and fleeted through a dampened green, while bees. With an ecstasy drank of nectar from each blue, and the sun sank swiftly, and the stars fell in the sky, and moon moths and singing crickets, and I, yes, I, praise the night, the stars, the tree, a small, the cherry, grow by you. Thank you. Thank you, Jyoti, for such an excellent moment. Next, we have Rajki from Sanjay. Good morning, teachers, and my dear friends. My name is Rajki Kutsacha, and today I will I will recite a poem on the topic "Told Giver" by Jalen Mulari. Don't give up and don't give in. It's all in the Lord's hand. No matter what you are facing, He is the one who can. Don't give up and don't give in. It is in the Lord's hand. No matter what you are facing, He is the one who can. And every situation, His grace can turn it around. So. As you became victorious, his in every situation, his grace can turn the beginning and the end. He knows and all that's in between. So put your total trust in him, on him to be seen. He knows about your struggle. He knows about your pain, your hardships, and your sorrows, and he will help you to heal. So don't give up and don't give in. Don't quit before it's time. God's grace will give you power to make it to the finish time. It is way and time. Thank you. Thank you, Rajdi, for such an impressive performance. Next, we have Mehika from 7A.
Morning, my respected teachers and my dear friends. My name is Nika Verma. I am from class 7A. Today, I am going to recite a poem about Rudyard Kipling. If you can keep your head all about you and losing that and gaming it on you, if you trust yourself, then all men doubt you. But making allowance for the doubting too. If you are waiting and not tired by waiting, or being lied about, don't deal with lies, or being hated, don't give away to hating. And yet, don't look too good or not up too wise. If you can dream and not make your dreams your master, if you can think and not thought and not make your thoughts of your aim, if we can meet the trump and disaster and we do the posters the same, or where the truth we have spoken, twist it by names, twist it by names, and make a trap for fools, or watch out the things you gave your life to, broke it and stuck and build them with one or fools. If you can make one dream from all your winnings and just one turn a pitch and toss, pitch and toss, and lose, start at your beginnings and never be the word about your loss. And if you can serve your turn long after they are gone, Huh. And hold on when there is nothing in you. And accept the will which says to them, hold on. If you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue, if you can walk with kings and not lose the common touch, if neither foes or loving friends can hurt you, if all men count with you, but none too much, if you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth, a uh, distance run. Yours is the earth and everything that's in it. Except and and which is more, you be a man, my son. Thank you. Thank you, Nikita, for such a great performance. Next, we have Rajesh from Seven. So this poem goes like, I think I had an interview with God. And the author is a gentleman who goes by the pen name Jim Brown. And this is quoted in his writing, I dreamed I had an interview with God. So you would like to interview me, God asked. If you have the time, I said, God smiled. My time is eternity. What questions do you have for me? What surprises you the most about humankind? God answered. That day, they get bored with childhood. They rush to grow up and then long to be children again. That they lose their health to make money and then lose their money to store their health. That by thinking anxiously about the future, they forget the present, such that they neither live in the present nor in the future. They live as if they never die, and they die as if they never live. God hands took mine, and we were silent for a while. And then I asked, as a parent, what are the sort of lifetime lessons that you would want your children to learn? God replied with a smile, to learn that they cannot make anyone love them. All they can do is let themselves be loved. To learn that it is not good to compare themselves with others. To learn to forgive by practicing forgiveness. To learn that there are many people who love them dearly but cannot show or express their feelings. To learn that a rich person is not the one who has the most, but is the one who needs the least. To learn that it can take only a few seconds to open profound wounds in those they love. To open profound wounds in those they love. And it can 
Thank you, Aisha, for such a great performance. Next, we have Kashmir from 7th. Good morning, everyone. I'm Kashmir Yadi from 7th. And today, I'm going to, I'm going to recite an inspiring poem with a very powerful message for everyone. And that was Very Quit by Edgar A. Guest. When things go wrong, and sometimes they will, when the road you're trudging seems all uphill, 
when funds are low and debts are high and you want to smile, but you have to sigh. When care is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must, but don't you quit. Life is clear with your strict and chance, as everyone else has sometimes burns. Life is nice, but sometimes we have failure, and it comes about, but you might have fun if you had stuck it out. Don't give up, though the pace seems slow. Don't give up, though the pace seems slow. You might succeed with another girl. You might succeed with another girl. Often, the stumbler has given up when he might have captured the victor's stop. Often, the stumbler has given up when he might have captured the victor's stop. And he learned too late when the night slipped down. How close he was to the golden ground. How close he was to the golden ground. Success is failure. Jumps inside out. Success is failure. Jumps inside out. So stick to the fight when your heart is hit. So stick to the fight when your heart is hit. It's when things seem worse that you must not quit. It's when things seem worse that you must not quit. Thank you, Nayas. Thank you, Gaurashmi, for such an excellent performance. Next, we have Shreyas from 7B. Good morning, teachers and my dear friends. Today, I am going to recite a poem titled Don't Give Up by Edina A. Guest. When things go wrong, as sometimes will. When the past you are struggling seems all of ten. When the funds are low and the debts are high. And you want to smile but have to sigh. When care is pressing you down a bit. When care is pressing you down a bit. Rest if you must, but don't you quit. Life is clear with three time terms. As every one of us sometimes learns. And many a failure turns above, and we might have won if we had stuck it out. Don't you give up, though the face seems slow. Don't you give up, though the face seems slow. You might succeed with another blow. Often the struggle has given up, when you might have captured the victor's cup. And he learned too late when the night slipped down how close he was to the golden crown. How close he was to the golden crown. Success is failure turned inside out, the silver tips of clouds of top. And you can never know how close you are. It may be near when it seems apart. So stick to the fight with your hardest hit. It's when things seem wrong that you mustn't quit. It's when things seem the worst that you mustn't quit. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you, Shreya, for such a remarkable performance. Next, we have Arushi from Seven. Good morning, respected teachers and my dear friends. I am Anushi Dixit from 7th Bar, and as we begin today, I have a question for you. Do you play the victim when things are not working well for you? Are you someone who asks why me when things are not going well? And are you also someone who forgets to ask the same question during the times when, if that's the case, or Thamma Bhagat have a powerful reminder for you in this beautiful short poem. Appetite by me. If you have to ask by me in a feeling near you, when the world has turned against you and you don't know what to do, when a coach pulls out the rocks and the world a winding mess, and you're feeling more confused than you ever can express. 
when the sun and sun will shine, when the stars will not align, when you rather be inside your bed, the covers full above your head, that when life is something that you dread and you have to ask why me, then when the world seems right and true, when rain has yet attempted you, when you see happy being you, please ask yourself why me then too. Please ask yourself why me then too. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you, Arushi, for such a cheerful performance. Next, we have Samvedi from 17. Next, we have Arav from 17. Good morning. My name is Arav Jaiswar. Today, I am here to recite a poem. The title of my poem is Keep Going by Edgar A. Gess. When things go wrong, as it sometimes do, when the road not ready seems over, when the funds are low and the debts are high, and you want to smile, but you have to start. When care is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must, but don't you quit. Life is a girl with its twists and turns, as every one of us sometimes learns, and many of you have turns about when you might have won. Had he struck it up. Don't give up, though the pace seems slow. You may succeed with another door. Often the goal is nearer than it seems to the faint and false way man. Often the struggler has given up when he might have won the victor's cup. And he learned it too late when the night's left down. How close he was to the golden crown. Success is failure, it turns inside out. The silver tint of clouds of doubts. And you you can never tell how close you are. It may it may be here when it seems of us. So stick to the fight till your heart is still. It's when things seem work that you must not quit. Thank you. Thank you, Arno, for such a pleasant performance. Next, we have some Riddhi from Sunday. Good morning. I am Sunday Gamer from class 7th part, and today I am going to present a poem Do Your Best. Make the best of the life today. Make the best of the life today. Take what God has given. Do not falter on the way. Each step leads to heaven. Through the journey may be long. Through the journey may be long. And the way be very. Make it shorter with the song. Days will seem less dairy. Let the sunshine fill your heart. Let the sunshine fill your heart. All in shadow hiding. Do your humble little part. Leave to the God guiding. Do not so to the highest things. Do not soar to the highest things till you have a reason. He will give the soul its place in his own good season. Little robins in their nest, little robins in their nest, before the time the wings are stronger. Learn too late that it is best to keep patience longer. If you cannot do today, if you cannot do today, if you cannot do today, God will show a better way. Do the best you can. Thank you. Thank you, Samriti, for such an impressive performance. Next, we have Nabit from 17. Good morning, everyone. My name is Yenam Kumar and I'm from class 1B. Today I am chatting up for you. Be your friend. Be your friend, you don't need the money. Just a disposition sign. Just a kindly hand extended. Be your friend, you don't need the money. Just a kindly hand extended. You will have some friends instead of your labor. Be your friend, you won't have a glory. Friendship is a simple soul. Pass by quickly, air is blind. 
kindly. Okay, so now next, effort kindly. See the youth whose bravery crying, pity him who sat beside. Just a little labor spent on the duty of a friend. Be a friend, the pay is bigger. Then is your wife, keep her clever. Be a friend, the pay is bigger, then is earned by people clever. In what may be self and labor, you will have friends instead of your neighbor. You will be richer in the end than friends if you are a friend. Thank you. Thank you, Lamed, for such a great performance. Next, we have Bridget Lossing. My name is Prashida Singh. Today I am going to recite a poem named Please compare this class written by Robert Frost. The tree leaves may be ever so good, so may its pass, so may its roots. But unless you put the light in your institute, it never will show much flowers or fruit. But I believe one who does not care ever to have the blue for them. Leaves for smooth and bark for rough. Leaves and bark may be greater. Some giant trees have roots so small, they might as well as none at all. Late in life I have come on corn, the like is argy to have their turn. I bend my tell me which in me, which is fitted, flower or leaf. They did not have the wit to say, leaves by night and flowers by day. Leaves and bar, leaves and bar, to lean against and bear in the dark. Petals I may have first for sure, leaves are all my dark and mood. Leaves are all my dark and mood. Thank you. Thank you, Rajata, for such a remarkable performance. Next, we have Sabrata from 7C. Good morning, everyone. My name is Samantha Mishra and I'm from class 7C. Uh, today, I'm going to recite all the words of stage from As You Like It by William Shakespeare. All the words of stage and all the men and women. They are in tears. They have their exits and their entrances. And one man in his time plays many parts. His acts in the seven ages. At first, the infant, wielding a few kings in the nurse's arms. Then the one in schoolboy, with a satchel and shining morning face, creeping like snail, on the way to school. And then the lover, signed by foreigners. With a woeful ballad made to his mistress' eyebrow. When a soldier full of strange oaths and bearing like a cloud, jealous in honor, sudden and quick in quarrel, seeking the public reputation, he went in the cannon's mouth and then the justice. In fair round belly, with good given line, with eyes severe. Head of former cut, uh, full of white stars and modern incenses, and so he plays his part. The sixth age shifts into the lean and slipper and pantaloon, with spectacles and nose and pouch on side. His youthful loves will save a world to ride for his shrunk shank. And his big manly voice turning again to a childish treble, pipes and whistles in his sound. Last scene of all that ends the strange eventful history is second childishness and men of the wind. Sons feet, sons eyes, sons taste, sons everything. Thank you. Thank you, Samantha, for such a wonderful performance. Next, we have the program from Senate. Good morning, Janesh. I'm Vidyutra Chitrabarti from class 7C. 
My requirements at that time by Ravindran Tagore. If they do not accept your call, work alone. If they are afraid and come and meet me, receive the call. Go to one lucky one, open your mind and speak out alone. If they turn away, as they are desired to while crossing the wilderness, go to one lucky one. Trample the swans in your way and along the bloodline track, walk alone. If they do not hold up the light, when the night is covered with storm, go to one lucky one. Thank you, Vidhi Yodhra, for such a great performance. Next, we have Rivali from Serenzi. Good morning to one and all. My name is Mani Chaudhary and I am from class 7Z. Today, I am going to recite an English poem called Clouds and Waves Little by the Little Nancy Gold. Mother, the God who lives up in the clouds, call out to me. We play from the time we wake. Till the day ends, we play with the golden dawn, we play with the silver moon. I ask, but how am I to get up to you? The answer, come to the head of the earth and lift up your hands to the sky and you will be taken up into the clouds. I'm always waiting for me at home. I say, how can I leave her and come this man and go to me? But I am the one I should be in the land, mother. I shall be the cloud and you be the moon. I shall cover you with both my hands and our house top will be the blue sky. The first who live in the waves, call out to me. We sing from morning till night. On and on we travel and know not where we pass. I ask, but how am I to join you? They tell me, turn to the edge of the shore and stand with your eyes tight shut and you will be carried out of the waves. I say, my mother is waiting for me at home. How can I leave her and go? The smile dance and pass by, but I know when it came the night. I will be the waves and you will be a strange show. I shall run on and on and on and break upon your laugh with laughter and no one in the world shall know where we both are. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you, Yamani, for such a wonderful performance. Next, we have Sajay Guru from Sanitary. Good afternoon, respected teachers and my dear friends. I am Sajay Mukherjee from Class 7C. Today, I am going to recite uh, an inspirational poem, Don't Quit, written by Edward Kirsch. When the things go wrong, and they sometimes win. When things go wrong and they sometimes win, the road you are searching seems all a mess. When the funds are low and the debts are high, and you want to smile, but you have to shine. When care is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must, but don't you quit. Life is weird, but it's twist and turns, as every one of us sometimes turns, and many a failure turns about. And many a failure turns about when he might have won had he stuck it out. Don't give up, though the pace seems slow. Don't give up, though the pace seems slow. You may succeed with another blow. Often the goal is nearer than, often the goal is nearer than it seems to a faint and faltering man. Often the struggle has given up when he might have captured the victor's cup. He learned to lay when the night slipped down. He learned to lay when the night slipped down. How close he was to the golden crown. Success is failure turned inside out.
success is failure turned inside out. The silver tints of the clouds of doubt. And you can never tell how close you are. And you can never tell how close you are. It may be near, but it seems apart. So stick to the fight when your heart is dead. So stick to the fight when your heart is dead. It's when the things go wrong that you must not quit. So stick to the fight when your heart is dead. It's when the things go wrong that you must not quit. Thank you. Thank you, Sadhguru, you for such an impressive performance. Next, we have Abhijita from Seventh C. Good morning, teachers and my dear friends. My name is Anjita Borgohai, and I am going to today recite the poem "Be a Friend." Be a friend. You don't need money. Just a deposition sum. Just a wish to help another. Get along. Some way or other, just a kindly hand extended out to one who's unbefriended. Just a little tickle spent on the duties of a friend. Be a friend. You don't need glory. Friendship is a simple story. Pass by trifling errors blindly. Gaze on honest efforts kindly. Cheer the youth who's bravely trying. Pity on him who sadly sighed. Just a little labor spent on the duties of a friend. Be a friend. The pay is bigger, though not little by a figure. Than is earned by people clever. In what's merely self and labor, you will have friends instead of neighbors. You'll be richer in the end than a prince if you are a friend. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you, Anjila, for such a great performance. Next, uh, here we come to our 10th grade, 7th grade. Now we start 